The new season just dropped, which means there's a new Conquest map, and this time it is a familiar map. I'm gonna see how long it takes to get done this USA map. I think all of you have tried this map before, you've done it, and it's like the generic map that gets you a pretty average card. This time, all of the XP can go towards Team Affinity, and you can get all of those out of position cards, and it also goes towards the XP path, and I believe this one is gonna get you around 125,000 XP. You have to play all 30 territories so all 30 mlb teams now obviously some teams are going to take over some other team strongholds which means you won't play every mlb team but you're going to, have to play at minimum 30 cpu games three inning games so like last time we did a time video with jordan and the other video with the cards and the parallel five team we are going to see how long it takes to get this map done and uh let's just hop right into it i'll start the stopwatch i don't know how much energy i'm going to have to entertain you so i'm just going to see do this as sort of an experimental video and, and not worry about the commentary as much. But if you like it, if you like the idea and seeing how long it takes, please drop a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and comment and let me know what you think about season three so far. All right, so let's get started on the stopwatch. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. So the other thing is all the teams, sort of like the players out of position, all the teams are out of position on this map. Uh, the best way to attack this map is usually to go west coast first. So take the west coast first, and then go back towards the east. You're going to start out in the middle, sort of where like the you know twins would be uh, in between the twins and the Rockies. But this time it's the Reds and the Padres. So go west coast, get like you know the Phillies, Twins, Yankees, Red Sox, Cubs on the west, on the east coast there. You see, all right, and then work your way back to the west. So we're going to do that. All right, I'm going to try to just get out to a quick lead on a lot of these games, and then try to fly through the bats by bunting and getting out on purpose, so we get through it a lot faster. I had uh, my mic muted for a little bit. My man, fucking Arnie, the Cuban sensation. He goes, love you, brother. Long time I don't come around, but I'm so happy you're doing your thing. That's my, that guy there, he owns a fucking um, uh, a watch and jewelry store in Miami. That's my okay. big bro right
All right, so that was our last stronghold. Let's just see. We got a ton of territories we got to take over. So all the strongholds are done. We don't have to play anymore. I'm assuming this will take a given, like this might actually take 10 minutes or more, maybe 10 to 15 minutes to simulate all of these games. But it took about six and a half hours, a little over six and a half hours to get done all the strongholds. Um, so we did it pretty aggressively, just did it all. Uh, if you have that much time, that's how long it's going to take. So let's wrap this up and get all the simulation games out of the way and see how much XP we get towards the path. It'll probably give us, I think, 125,000 XP towards all team affinity programs. Take a look at that here. And I, I did just the minimal stuff. The NL Central is already done. And if you have at least like around 20% to each uh, program, you'll get 100% if you finish this conquest map. So this will give me 100%, give me all the cards and get the collection, get Anthony Rizzo. So I think it is a good idea to get the conquest uh, if you are down to spend six and a half hours on a, on the game, whether it's spread out over like a couple of days or if you got that too much time on your hand and you really have nothing to do, then go ahead and do it. All right, so we have finished it. Let's just see what we get for Team Affinity. Oh, okay, never mind. I don't get 100%. <laughs> All right, well, we got 100% in the AL East, NL East, and NL Central, and we have 80%, 86%, and 88% uh, on the other ones. So, honestly, we could just do a couple of moments for each of these, or maybe one more exchange, and then we'll have it. Let's take a look at all the packs we got, though. We did get uh, nine more Millionaire packs. We got almost 20 Ballin' as a Habit pack, so that's at least 20 guaranteed golds. Some of them have, you know, a couple diamonds in them. Some of them have uh, multiple gold in them. We got 30 standard packs and six headliner packs and just keep in mind i did open packs up during the entire run of the conquest map so there is a lot missing here and then we get all of these season three chapter one a team affinity packs so let's go ahead and start ripping those open we are going to have uh our first nl west pack and i'm really interested to see what charlie blackman can do he's only got 84 velocity but he does have five pitches including a sinker cutter change up slider fastball mix uh, 118 hits per nine. I wonder what his delivery is like. I don't know what it is yet. It's going to be mocked after a certain pitcher. And uh, 108 hits or walks per nine with 91 control is going to give you good control for dotting in the strike zone. I think I'm going to start with him. All right, now the next person I want from the NL West is probably... I like this third base, Willie Mays, but he has 96 contact on both sides, and we know there's better contact out there, including Kenley Jansen. Uh, we have Zach Gowan here as a shortstop like many of the pitchers out of position. And I thought, oh, Manny Machado is on the Orioles, isn't he? All right, so we also have Jake Cronenworth. I want to see what this catcher, Kenley Jansen, can do. I believe he has pop time as well. So for the time being, I'm going to put him over my wild card spot, Jorge Posada. We do have Craig Biggio in right field, and he actually can play there. He's a gold fielder out in right field, even though he's out of position. So we can uh, we can use him there. So he's got all the all the good quirks at hitting. He's got 99 stealing ability, 92 speed. He gets great jumps, great contact, obviously, clutch, vision, and 90 power on both sides. It's kind of like a one-sided Jimmy Rollins card if you if you look at it a certain way. I think it would be good to get uh, some N uh, AL Central. Riley Green, I heard he's good. He has 110 hits per nine, 121K per nine, and the walks per nine and control are a little bit lower, but everything else looks great about this card. 90 velocity, 99 break, super underrated. Fastball sinker, slurve, circle change, and cutter. I'm going to add him to our bullpen. And I think, I thought he was a starting pitcher, but we're going to add him to the bullpen, obviously, and replace a lefty in here. All right, now I want to go back to the NL East and see. We've already taken DeGrom and Nola. Bryce Harper was a high school catcher, and he was a damn good one, obviously. He doesn't have pop time, but he has a lot of good hitting quirks. Dontrell Willis is the worst card in this pack by far. I'm surprised they didn't give him anything other than just the DH position. Uh, so he can't play the field well. He has no other secondary positions. Austin Riley should be a decent pitcher, but I'm going to go with Harper here. We have the other packs to get those guys, so we'll just go ahead and grab them as well. And we'll throw Austin Riley. We'll throw him in the rotation just to see what he can do. Typical theme, pitcher at shortstop, and then we got a relief pitcher, Adam Dunn. It's just cool that we're, we're getting guys like O'Neal Cruz uh, as a captain, and he's facing off against Ellie De La Cruz on the mound. So it's it's a pretty interesting season so far. My second pick should be Byron Buxton because he has that outlier fastball, and he's got a curveball slider, splitter, sinker, so pretty good pitch mix, and he's got 99 break as well. So uh, 106K per nine, 
I like this card. Let's put him in the rotation. We'll go ahead and grab Dontrell Willis just to finish out the NL East and I'll West again. I'm going to take, uh, let's just take this Willie Mays here. We'll build an all out of position team. See what that looks like. All right. He is a third baseman. He can also play first base. He can play third base. So that's his main position, obviously. Uh, DH. All right. Next, we got the NL West. Uh, we have two more, Cronenworth and Gallon. I want to take Cronenworth, put him in the bullpen. All right. I've, I'm curious to see what Nolan Ryan's going to do with that really good fielding out in center field. Randy Johnson, I heard he's got a pretty, pretty good swing from what I've heard. All right. A couple of quirks. He's good in the outfield as well. He plays left field. Let's go put him next to Nolan Ryan in left field. All right. Then we got to open five packs to open to get more packs. These headliner packs are really annoying. I don't know why they don't just give you the packs right away when you get them and just randomize it when you earn the pack right there. Instead of making you open a pack and then finding out which pack number you get. I think these are all going to be 39. So we have six uh, headliner 39s. And look at that. We have a diamond right off the first rip of headliners. It's going to be a below a 90 overall. Manuel Class A. So we're just going to go ahead and sell him since... Um, I think we can get the exchanges done with the other cards that we have. So we'll get the stubs off the diamond there. All right. We have that jersey. We'll sell that for 500. We'll sell that. Four more of these guys. All right. Jose Trevino, we could sell for 1,200 stubs. That's good there. All right. And then we got Nolan Arenado, we could sell. All right. We got one more diamond. It is a teal. Blue, green. Lance Lynn, I finally got him. I've seen so many people get a lot of Lance Lynn's, almost like in a glitchy way where they just kept getting Lance Lynn over and over again. Uh, we finally got him, so we'll keep this one because we haven't gotten any others. He's only going for 6500 6, anyway, um, so we're not going to sell him. Let's just add him and see what he can do over at first base. I'm going to replace... I'm actually going to replace Shane McClanahan. All right, 9 millionaire packs. Wish me luck. We got 3,000 stubs. I'll take that. We got a standard pack. That's the worst. That's the worst. Yep. Three of them in a row. Uh, four of them in a row. I kind of like it in the, you know, five stats. Oh, there's the 5,000 stubs. Speak of it. More than, I like getting them more than packs. Uh, we got a headliners pack and a ball and pack. All right, so that's not too bad. So we have 20 ball and packs we're going to open. Oh, we got another Lance Lynn. All right, there it is. That's the glitchy uh, Lance Lynn. Uh, yeah. All right, we already have this jersey. We'll sell that. 20 ball packs. Let's get into it. We got a Rysel Iglesias. I forgot he went up to an 86. It would have been nice if I could have invested in a lot of Iglesias cards before he got upgraded, but this is nice. We just pulled him here. We'll go ahead and sell that. And we got Josh Naylor. We could sell for 1,200 stubs. So far, so good in the ball and packs. Two more golds. Low golds, though, so only 400 stubs each. All right. Another diamond here. Let's see. Let's sell you Darvish first. Let's open this one. And it's going to be a purple. Jordan, though, he's supercharged. He's an 85 overall. I would have thought he'd been higher than that based on the year he's having by now. All right, but we'll sell him for 4,500 subs. I'll take that. He might go diamond if he keeps it up. All right, we got another diamond here. We got Mark Vientos as well. I'm going to sell that for 400. Let's see if this is anything good. Nope, it's going to be a purple, but hopefully it's a decent amount of stubs. Freddie Freeman, 87 overall. He's going to go for 4,500. The good thing about having a lot of ball packs is you know, you're going to get a lot of stubs if you don't already have these cards in your collection. All right, Max Scherzer are still gold, and he's an 80 overall, so only 40, 400, I mean. Eighty-one selling for six hundred. Another diamond here. I'm just gonna let it rip. And Adley Rutschman for forty-five hundred. We have a Robert Suarez six hundred. Like that. Glad to see all these diamonds in the ball and packs. All right. Seems like the more you have, the better chance you get. Obviously, there's a better chance, but you, you kind of have a lot more confidence you'll get a couple of diamonds. All right. And our last pack is kind of a dud. Only one gold. All right. And then we have thirty-five standard packs. I'm just gonna go ahead and rip. Ooh, first one's a diamond though. We'll let that one rip. Dylan Cease, 3,000. Uh, let's see what the odds are of getting another diamond in the next 34 packs. I think it's, you know, pretty low. I'm, I'm going to say we get one. We'll get one more diamond. And there it is. That's one more diamond. Low overall. Uh, there's a chance we get one more. I was probably wrong. Zach Wheeler, 88 overall. He's having a good year. We're going to sell that for 5,500.
And we did get one more diamond. So they did prove me wrong. And it's a teal diamond. So uh, by the hair, I'm guessing it's... Oh, that's another Lance Lynn. <laughs> so we get Lance Lynn out of a standard pack. That's pretty interesting. We'll sell him for 5,000. All right, last pack. And it looks like we're going to end up with over 200,000 stubs in selling off the cards that we did not need. And on the regular Season 3 XP reward path, it's a shortened one. We're going to get really close to Hank Aaron at 350,000, but we are at 239,000 XP. So we're going to get that done as quickly as we can. Over the next couple of days, I'm sure I'll finish Team Affinity very quick, you know, pretty quickly with these almost done. And um, I really want to get Lou Gehrig. So we're going to have to work towards the overall collection for Season 3 to get that first pack, which would be really nice. I think I'm going to take Lou Gehrig first. He just looks great. All right. Um, and then we'll get Mo. As we get more, we'll get Jackie Robinson, who I'll throw in there. But let me know what you guys think and if I should do another program like this or if you guys like these videos with the CPU grinding. Uh, let me know what you think or if you like more of the online gameplay. All right. Thanks for watching.